Oh my gosh. Such an angel. Four seizures began. I'm Brad Cluck. I am Avery's father. And I'm Heather Cluck. I am Avery's mom. She is 10 years old. She has a Cardi syndrome that involves lots of seizures and global delays and brain malformations. She has just persevered and conquered so many things that we never thought possible. And she keeps showing us every day how strong she is. Prior to cannabis, Avery was in the hospital a lot. Seizures were really bad, and we had tried multiple medications. A couple times she was hospitalized so that they could wean her off of the medications that weren't working and try her on something else. It has really turned out to be a blessing. With its struggles, yes, the many doctor appointments and therapists and all the sessions that take us through every day, but then all the other hours are filled with who she is and enjoying her. And she kind of reminds you that this is how we all need to be, is to just take the days as they are. I see pictures of her sometimes on her bike and it just, it tears me up because she is just so incredibly happy. It gives her a sense of freedom that, that nothing else has. It allows her to fly. Yeah, she, yeah. It allows her to fly. <laughs> to be so bound in what she lives with and then to be able to experience that freedom through as simple as a bicycle. We take all these things for granted and you would never think that that would mean so much. Yeah. Well, your first bike is your first wind in your hair. <laughs> your first bit of freedom, you feel like you're flying. And your first fall. And, yeah, which is very important. All right. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. There's some balloons on something. <laughs> oh my god, Avery! What are you doing? Oh, Avery, oh my gosh. Just being able to just sit back and watch her have fun right in front of me. That's, mm. there's nothing beats that in the world. There's nothing <laughs> better than that. You know, when she has that feeling of independence and freedom, like when she's cycling with her, her groups that she's involved in, just throughout the rest of the day, she is more focused, so school was easier. And this bike in particular is extra important and special to us right now because she is so fast and she is so strong but then still lacks that concept of danger and, you know, will steer really fast and tip over, um, steer into oncoming traffic without a thought. And now that, you know, we can get on the bike behind her and help correct her while we're riding, yeah. gives us something that we didn't have before. <laughs> <laughs> You could see it on her face. You know, she she just lit up and her arms went up in a pump. And so it, it was emotional because I just know that that's something that gives her so much to look forward to on a daily basis. And that's when she's truly free, wind blowing through her hair. And <laughs> the fact that she can do it with family members and she can do it safely, it, it's a blessing. Riding that bike, with her on it and seeing her reaction to it was everything. This will never be forgotten. It's gonna take her forward and strengthen the, the strength she does have. <laughs>